Music Lab at World Cafe Live is made possible thanks to generous support from Drexel University. They believe that the more you know about what goes into music, the more you'll get out of it. Welcome once again to Music Lab at World Cafe Live. Today it's a visit with Otile Burbridge, one of the most progressive bassists in music today. Perhaps best known as the driving force behind the Allman Brothers Band, Teal's outside projects have clearly put him on the leading edge of the entire jam band movement. Our moderator is Gerald Beasley, an internationally recognized bassist himself. Hi, welcome to Music Lab. Today you're in for a real treat. One of the hippest young players on the jam band scene, longtime member of the Allman Brothers Band with many great projects of his own, and my friend, Mr. Oteil Burbridge. You have truly revolutionized the way people think about bass. I mean, you're so lyrical and the use of chords and the way you play melodies and all of that. And then as, as the program goes on, folks that don't know your work with your voice as well would get a chance to hear that. But talk, talk to me about the importance of music education in your personal life. Well, see, my music education didn't start in college. It started at five. I got my first drum teacher at five. And um, so my music education has been constant from age five to now I'm 40 years old. And I'm still getting educated, you know. And it was really important, and still is. Um, I had some great teachers along the way. Uh, Leroy Barton was my bass clarinet teacher. I had a, my drum teacher that really taught me how to play jazz and taught me the uh, fundamentals, the, the rudiments and stuff of drums and stick control was a guy named Tom Jones, which I always thought was funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was not unusual. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, but he was such a great guy. And then, you know, of course, I got a lot of music education from my dad. My dad grew up, and my mom, in the Bronx. And he actually saw a lot of these jazz cats that are famous live back when it was happening. 
And um, I learned so much from my older brother, Kofi. Um, and then I always played with musicians that were older than me. And it really was rough on me because I wasn't good enough to play with them. So you know when, when people are this higher than you, it pulls you up. Even if you don't get there, you're playing here and you're stretching to here. So it just pulls you up. And that Would you recommend only, that to younger players? I mean, absolutely. You know, sometimes absolutely. we have a tendency to get in a comfort zone and not really reach up to something Comfort is level. death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know? And I mean, it's that way in all areas of life. It's that way spiritually. It's that way, you know, if you're married, you know, don't stay comfortable too long, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> don't, you, you know, you just get set in your ways. You lose your flexibility. You get rigid. You know, you need to, life is dynamic, you know, and it's also struggle. They say no pain, no gain. Unfortunately, that's the truth, you know. So I always, uh, like the guys that I play with, they stretch me, you know, even when I don't want them to, when I'd like to be comfortable, you know, I find something happening. It's like, oh my God, okay, you know, you just. <laughs> so definitely, if you can find an older person that will, give you the time of day, you know, and that's just by the grace of God, but it happens. There's someone out there that, that's willing to help you out, you know. That's awesome. How about if we play something together? Would that be all right? Definitely. I, I know you, um, you're a huge jazz fan, and one of the songs we were talking about doing is by the great Herbie Hancock. The great. <laughs> the great. Butterfly. Yeah. I think it's called Butterfly, isn't it? Yes, yeah, Butterfly. Do you remember the first time hearing this song? Do you remember that your Headhunters era? Oh yeah. Yeah, my brother started turning me on to all the fusion stuff because my dad wanted him to get me back into straight ahead jazz. So I started out with funk, you know, Earth, Wind and Fire, Stevie, all that. And so we he took me through the fusion stuff and man, I got stuck there for life. <laughs> <laughs> it's great music. Oh man, Paul Jackson, I got to hang out with him. I do remember when I first heard that. It's so weird, man. I can really, I can picture that. Stop. 
Yeah. 